last time. Ha! I did it. This time. Hello, all of my little baby bunnies, and welcome back to Indiana Jones. Let's play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. My name is Karen with Karen Bob Gaming, and when we last left off, you didn't see this, but I spent 40 minutes trying to remember how to get through this labyrinth. I've scrapped that episode because it is embarrassing and not fun to watch. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I like I made the mistake of thinking for some reason that I could remember how to get through a labyrinth for a game that I've played, I last played 10 plus years ago, and that's just not realistic and I couldn't do it, so fuck it. Uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I've already looked through a walkthrough so that I could like figure out what to do because I couldn't, I could not remember and I kept getting lost. And if I get stuck again, if I get lost again, I'll just pull up my walkthrough while I'm playing and go from there. I'd, I'd forgotten how challenging this part was and how you either need to have like a good head for mapping stuff out or you need to just draw it. I think that's what I did when I was a kid. Um, so let me pick up two of these. Like I could remember what to do, I just couldn't remember where to go. So we have to pick up two of these. And come on, Sophia. And then I'm going to use my whip to grab the last one. So we need all three of those. Oh, let me drink some water. Excellent. Okay, so we need to find the room that has a big statue of a of a minotaur. So let's try to find that real quick. I don't entirely remember where it is. I don't think this is the right way though. Let's go back. Go back. Nope, Sophia. Let's go to the doorway. Is it up here? Oh, I forgot how slowly Indy walks. Fuck, Indiana Jones, you. Okay, I don't need to do this yet, but I can. So let's go ahead and put these on here. Like, as though I have to do this in a particular order, I really don't. But to get to where I need to go, shelf, use it with the shelf. There we go, shelf. There we go. To get to where I need to go right now, I don't need to go through that room. So let's go elsewhere. Let's try this door. Like, I spent so much time wandering around and I'm still lost. I don't- I still don't know where to go. Do they come through this door or this door? I don't remember. Listen kids, if you want to think about starting a Let's Play channel, maybe don't. <laughs> You're not going to be able to think while you talk. Here we go, this is what I need. So, this is pretty straightforward. You use your whip on the head of this statue. Get behind me, Ugh, Because the weight of that will push down this pressure plate right here, which we need. So let's get on this pressure plate. Sophia, get over here. Oh, what's going on, Indy? It must be a primitive elevator of some sort. I want to point something out. We're coming down. Look at those discs underneath the elevator. We're about to smash them. We could have had two. I always thought Mr. Otis invented the elevator. Yeah, well, this is our floor. Two of the sunstone and moonstone, but no. Okay, so we can't pick up the statue head, um, but we can pick up this staff. But wait, that was our ride. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Pick up the staff. I told you. Listen to me when I talk. <laughs> I'm not that I'm not that mean in real life, I promise. <laughs> this is a character. fake character. <laughs> and of course this is Sternhart, that like really annoying guy from the temple in the jungle that we went to. I don't know if you remember that, but let's pick up this note. It's his note, let him keep well, it. Well then fucking look at it at least, you dick. It says I am convinced the map room lies beyond the next chamber. Yes, I cannot get past the gate. I need that autocalcum detector. Too bad. He came a long way. So, I don't recall if I've pointed this out yet, but I already have the autocalcum detector. This amber fish on a string finds it. So, that comes in a little bit later, but 
not too much later. So there's nothing else we can get from him right now. So we're gonna, um, oh, I guess I need to look at it first. Let's look at this waterfall. Look at how beautiful it is. I wonder why they animated it. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. Maybe that's why they animated it. Counterweight. So that I could know to click on it. All right, so let's use the chain. Hold on, Jones. Where do you think you're going? I'm climbing this chain. Away from you? you better come back. Trust me. Ah, uh, uh, not enough coffee, obviously. Damn. Let's get some more of that goodness in me. Uh, uh, ouch. Is that what he sounds like when he has sex? Oof. Ah, uh, ouch. Getting wet. <laughs> okay. So, what we need to look for now... What all did I pick up? I just got the world stone and the staff. We need to look for a room that has a big counterweight in it. I don't quite remember how to get to it, but I think it's through the gate that we opened not too long ago. Yep, that's a dead end. And you can look at all these bones, but you don't need to, so... Might as well not bother. Okay, yeah, so it's through here, because that's the that middle door is where we came from. Originally. Yep, here we go. Excellent. Wow, this is so much faster than before. <sighs> Whew! Alright, so we go up here. And through here. And that should... I hope... Yes, here we go. Great. So, uh, if you look... Here. We have a chalk of... Uh, stone here that's stuck on the counterweight. Um, and then we've got some stuff over here that we can look at but we can't do anything with right now. So we're going to use the stick or the staff on the chalk and that should move it. There, the counterweight is free. And then we should be able to take the lower path to the room that's immediately below this. We haven't seen it yet but we will in a second over here. Ugh, holy ass. I don't know, I'm so tired. Here we go. So the chalk fell down. This is the same elevator shaft. Um, so we will... If you notice, there's a mouth. Statue mouth. What what thing can we fit into this mouth? Put the staff in his mouth. Going up? Yes, we are. Bing, 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 bing. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to pick up this box... There are two more beads underneath it. I'll take them too. Yes, do that. Okay, so if we look at this box, it's a gold box. Um, I don't recall. Let me look at the lost dialogue. Uh, where do they talk about Orichalcum? That's where Atlantis is located. Worldstone entrance. Orichalcum metal that glittered like fire. Cast it into shiny beads, paying statues. Uh, out of amber to search for the material, which is what tells us how to look for it. Um, surely this is absurd. Find a huge colossus. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so they don't actually ever tell us that. That's actually really weird. So, for like no real reason you end up with this gold box and you just sort of have to figure out that you need to put the orichalcum in the box. It isn't open. Wow, really you're gonna make me do this? It's an empty gold box with a lead lining. That's your only clue. If you open it and it has a lead lining and you go, oh, lead uh, makes it so that you can't like see certain metals, right? Lead lined stuff is also useful for like radiation and whatnot. Now in the box. So then we close it. That way if we want to look for orichalcum, it won't. This won't be aimless. It'll know where to look. So now let's go through here. I don't remember where this takes us. Dead end. Okay. So we have to go back to Sophia now. And we could have made her do this in the first place, but it's a little bit easier to just do it all at once and not have to go back and forth and back and forth. So uh, this way. Uh, I don't remember where the room with the statue is, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. I think it's this way. Wow, I am yawning so much. I am sorry. 
Here we go. Here I go again. Damn. I did that so much faster this time. <laughs> like, I don't want the footage from the last one to ever be shown the light of day. It was really embarrassing. It was bad. It was a bad scene. Okay. So now we're going to head over here. And there it goes again. Yep. And Sophia's going to come with us. Sweet. Okay. So we're going to look at this hole. It's a narrow crawl space. And then we're going to talk to Sophia. Sophia. Yes? Uh. Let me boost you through that hole. I need to get her to crawl through. Because I can't fit. Okay. Fine. We'll rot down here like Sterner. I'm not worried. You'll think something. Gosh, she's so sassy. The last time I did this, I had to talk to her like five times before Listen. she would actually do it. Yes. Climb Come on, on my climb under my shoulders. I'd rather not. <sighs> Fine. Boost Shall me I through boost the hole. Me through the hole. You. <laughs> What's so darn funny? I couldn't. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk to her again. Maybe it's the last Sophia. option. Yes. Sometimes Come the on, game well, like forces you to go through all the options because it was the last one I think that let me Would do it. Scared of a few bugs? You don't fool me, Jones. You're the one who's scared of snakes. Yeah, and. So what if I am? So you admit it. Sure. <sighs> We're really not going anywhere until I crawl. Oh, it's me admitting that I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Me up. When I'm so defeated that I'm like, Watch yeah, and. Buster. <laughs> Her like looking screen. up animation we'll is really it. cute. Okay, hang on. Bing 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 bing. Yes. We're not out of the woods yet, but nice going. Cool. All right. Let's go through this doorway. Okay. So now we're through here and that's right. Okay. So let me use this. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. It must be detecting the orcalcum residue. So we need the shield her necklace in this gold box as well, because in order for us to find the entrance to Atlantis, we need to be able to use this fish. So we're gonna talk to her real quick. Listen. Yes. Can I borrow that necklace of yours for a while? Why? Um, I think it's throwing off the alcohol or calcium detector. So So we need to hide it. You think so? Then say, Nurab Sal is a mighty king and his eyes see through. Sure. I really Nurab don't Sal care. <laughs> I just want to put it in the box. All right. I can't give you my necklace. But tell me your plan and I'll try to help. I want to put it in this gold box. Okay. Give me the box and I'll put it inside. That's fine. Just for a few minutes. Thanks. Okay, so now we're gonna use this and we're gonna follow it. It should tell us where to go. It's not pointing anywhere. There must not be any aura calcum nearby. Oh lord. So let's go back through here. Use it again. Cause Sternheart was like, oh, it's not pointing anywhere. it must be right beyond this thing because I can I can sense it, but blah blah blah. So let's use it again over here. It's not pointing anywhere. Okay. Let me read his note one more time. Can I look at his note? It says, I am convinced the map room lies beyond the next chamber. Alas, I cannot get past the gate. I need that autocalcum detector. Too bad. 
He came a long way. Can't get past the gate. So we got past the gate. Lies beyond the next room. So which room is... I'm trying to think of which rooms are dead ends, because that's probably where we need to go. Uh, let's go up here. It's not pointing anywhere. <laughs> Such a cute little, like, boo doo 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 You've... you found nothing kind of sound. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> Okay, that's right, you can go behind this. <laughs> Remember seeing this for the first time and being like, I can't go anywhere! Alright, so the, does that not take us anywhere at all? Were there any other doorways I could go through? Or was that it? I think that was it. So let's go back. No, well, yeah, we do need to go back, because we need to... Or, no we don't, fucking... Hang on a second. Y'all are y'all are gonna hang with me. While I while I take a look and see if I can figure this out. Okay, so we've got to the room in the back, boost her through the hole, allowing you to pass. Use it and it will eventually point you in the direction of a blank wall. Okay. So let's go back this way, because uh, there must be another way for us to go. Because we need Sophia with us. Otherwise, this is useless. So let's go back. Are there any other doorways for us to go through that I, that I did not go through? That, there's not. What on earth? Didn't go anywhere here? Anywhere. No, didn't think so. Fuck! Because <laughs> this just takes us back to the same room. We just go in a big circle. Damn. That is mystifying. What's the point? What's the point of this? Let's look one more time. Ask Sophia to put her necklace inside the gold box. Once those things are done, your detector will help you find the way out of the labyrinth. It will eventually point you in the direction of a blank wall. Hmm. So I have the idea right. But I'm obviously just not going in the right direction. It's not pointing anywhere. So it must be here. It must be somewhere around here. I've used the orichalcum detector in each room, haven't I? You use it here? Hmm, it's pointing toward Ooh. that blank wall in the back. There we go. Blank wall? Over here. Okay, now I know what to do. <laughs> I just didn't use it in every room because I'm smart. So we're gonna use this ship rib on the wall. Look! And suddenly we have this whole doorway. Open in. We go through. Bam. Look, an orichalcum bead. This must have been the bead that attracted the orichalcum detector. Great. Now take the gold box. I want to wear my necklace again. Go for it. It's kind of like a weird addiction you've got there, lady. I'm going to put the orichalcum back Your in the box. Is now in the box. Just to be safe. Okay. I don't believe we've been in this room yet. Let's look. Yeah, here we go. Woo! Door move. Well, this is great. Either Atlantis is a lot smaller than we thought, or we've found some kind of map or scale model. Yes. Laid out just as Plato described it in three concentric circles. This is awesome. I love the animation in this room when you solve the puzzle, and you'll see what I mean. It's kind of wild and crazy. 
So if you look, you've got a spindle here, just like in every other place where you need to actually get into an Atlantis place. We gotta use the world stone, the sunstone, and the moonstone, and the spindle. So now we have to look at the, play, at the lost dialogue of Plato so that we can figure out how to get into Atlantis proper. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with darkness ruling the old city without challenge. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. Okay. Okay. <sighs> darkness ruling the old city without challenge. I look at each of these doors. So we've got a half moon. It's a heavy stone door. We have a full sun. It's a heavy stone door. I feel like the instruction is different for each of these. Okay, darkness ruling over the city. And final entrance. yielded only to contrary minds. So, probably darkness over a full moon over the city. That didn't do anything. Okay. So the greater colony, which we've already done, the noon sun righted above the full moon. So, darkness ruled the old city without challenge. Okay, so we may need to do this opposite way. That didn't do anything. Nope. Let's try again. So, it just says darkness ruling the city. That didn't do anything. So I'm gonna just like try everything right now. <laughs> that didn't do. That didn't do anything. All right, so that's doing them all opposite. So I wonder if I need to take the moonstone off. That might be what I need to do. That didn't do anything. But let me try each of these just to make sure. Because I've done them all opposite. Yo, oh, there we go. Yeah, noon sun. I love this animation. It's so cool. Woo! We did it. Cool. We're gonna take all those back, because those are sort of useful. I don't remember if we actually need them anymore, but they are useful to have, um, just in case. I hope this is the way out. I think you're right. <laughs> Sophia, where are you? Oh, that's right. Hello, the German. Okay. Leave the girl out of this, Colonel. Bye. She's perfectly happy to uh -huh. the winning team. I doubt that. Unless you hand over the stones now. That's right. I think. I think you have to give him the stones, or else you'll, you you won't progress. So. Okay, take the stones. Just don't hurt Sophia. She'll be perfectly safe in my custody. <laughs> you fuck. Dinner. What a slimy toad. Some excellent voice the acting. Look slightly loose. Okay. Let's use this ship rib maybe for the you last know, time. The rocks are starting to move. Ah uh, ha ha. Uh -huh. You must board the U-boat. 
I'm not going anywhere. What have you done with Indy, you creep? Girl, he got a gun. <laughs> How can you expect a man to lead you through Atlantis when he can't even find a way out of the labyrinth? And you're practically an Atlantis tour guide, I suppose? I mean, sort of. Good luck. Ha! <laughs> So sassy. Join us and fulfill your life's ambition. Or join your friend, another rotting corpse on the road to glory. Well, how can I refuse hospitality like that? Charles was a better man than I thought. He would tolerate her. <clears throat> Kerner's like goofy hair. Like the hair. <sighs> hey, there's a Nazi U boat. Like he's a fucking model. Alright, we gotta board this boat. So we need to be able to uh, rescue Sophia. Okay. I'm pretty sure we just have to go straight in. But let me double check and make sure there's nothing else. There's just the guns, yeah? There. Okay, yeah, that's right. So we gotta go straight in and we gotta do like a sneaky sneak thing. Uh, where's the hatch? Oh, uh, where are you, hatch? Okay, open the hatch. Help! Uh oh. I'm the captain here, and I don't tolerate stowaways. Are you. <laughs> Are you a sub captain or merely subhuman? Are you a sub captain huh? or merely subhuman? <laughs> Defend your stiff American or right. That's fine. I'll do that. Looks like I'm Oh, that was home. easy. Whoa, we're getting underway. Better hop in. Wow, and we just leave his body up there. He's gonna die. We're headed for Atlantis. <laughs> cool. It's a really, like, nonsensical path for that to take. Okay, so I can't really do anything. If you try to use this big lever, um... That won't work. I think it, like, breaks. It says flugeldoofle. <laughs> Wonderful, it snapped right off. Excellent. Did I at least pick it up? It's the lever that controls the sub's depth. Oh, yeah. I guess it does. Alright, so we're going to talk to the intercom. All hands to the bow. I think that's what I need. Uh, your captain commands all hands to the bow. Okay, so that should get everybody out of your way so that we can travel to the, uh, the left side of the ship. Alright. So, Sophia's being held down here. We should be okay as long as um, we don't walk down there while she's not distracting him. So let's look in here, make sure there's nothing to take. And I'll, I'll do this for a few more minutes and just pick up what I need. So we need the bread. I'll bet it's hard as a rock. Yep, let's take it. I'll take a couple of slices. Yep, you got it. And we need these cold cuts. I don't remember why I need any of these. Don't mind if I do. And I need this mug. Okay. So bread, cold cuts. There's a trap door. Oh yeah, I need to go down there. Um, let's look at this lever. It's labeled Ausgeschnitzel. <clears throat> what happens if we push it? Oh, it slows us down. Got it. This is broken. Okay, so we need to find something to do that. So that's the speed. Yep. Alright. Let's slow it down for a bit. What's this switch do? It's labeled Krauske Farben. <laughs> what happens if I push it? 
literally nothing, okay? And then... Oh, I forgot about this. It's a bundle of tangled wires. I don't think I need to do anything with these. I don't know. Can I pick them up? And fry myself? Okay. So maybe turn off the power and pick them up. But I don't quite remember. It won't open. It must be broken. Okay. Yeah, that might need to be on a different. That might be a different route. I'm not sure. So there's at least one more thing that I know I need to do. So let me uh, let me do that. So we've got battery acid. Let's use um this mug to get some of this battery acid. Okay, the mug is full of acid. Excellent. So if we walk over here, we can talk to Sophia. Sophia? Indy? Jones can't save you now, madam. Uh, wait. I'm getting a message. A message from Nurab Sar. Nurab what? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Okay. Uh Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. Okay. Where are the stone discs? Uh Nurab Sal refuses to share his secrets <laughs> with the Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Um can you distract the guard? The guard for a while, okay? Nurab Sal understands all. Wait. What? Oh, darn. I've lost contact. Too bad. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's all I need to do for that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll leave the episode here. There's a few more things that I need to do before we can get off of the submarine, um, but we're, we're getting pretty close. Me, Mr. Guard person? <laughs> what is it now? I was just wondering. Yes? Oh, it's probably nothing. I order you to finish your sentence. <laughs> well, you know, you look just like William the Conqueror. You think so? <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. I always suspected that I had more blood in my veins. <laughs> All right. Perhaps I should tell your fortune. I'm going to go ahead and pause it Would here, you? as enjoyable as that is to watch. Uh, there's a few more things that we need to do before we get off of the submarine and we'll be able to actually make it to Atlantis, but we'll pick that up next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, as always, it's much appreciated. Make sure to check out my Facebook and my Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!